everyone, welcome back to Next Generation. In today's video, we'll be making a DIY under the bed organizer that rolls in and out. Yeah, it does roll in and out because it's going to be on wheels. <laughs> so we don't have very much storage space in our space. <laughs> so we don't have a lot of storage space in our... I can't say space. <laughs> you can't you say, say storage. Try saying storage space three times really fast. Storage space. <laughs> but yeah, no, really, we don't have a lot of storage space <laughs> at our house. We're going to use the space under our bed. Yeah, because we have a lot of space under there. So you can store just about anything under there. You can do shoes, coats, stuff. Yeah, well, ours is going to be like a hybrid. So like half of it is going to have sectional organizers so that you can put like shoes and specific items in there. Mm -hmm. And then the other half is just going to be an open two by two space. I think two by two. We'll get to the measurements, but yeah, the other half of the space is just going to be open so that you can just go free for all style on there and just kind of organize it however you want. So as usual, we're first going to start with everything that you need to make it. We'll start with the structure and then we'll get to the accessories. That's like the whole thing. We've got some accessories here. I must That say. go on the structure, but yes. that's all right. We'll start with the structure. What do we need? Wood. <laughs> so this is going to be the bottom of the organizer. So you want this to be the size of the organizer <laughs> and the size that we got we're checking looks like six feet looks like nope, six feet but it's false the actual size is two by four it's quarter inch quarter inch thick but if you're putting really heavy stuff in there then we would recommend going a size up maybe half inch three quarter one inch two inch not sure what you're trying to store in there these are going to be used for the frame oh okay so the next board that you need is used for for what tell them I don't know. The, the next frame. board. Hey, look at that. The frame. What else? The organizers. The sub organizers. The sectionals. So we're going to use this board for the frame on the outside. So depending on how thick or how deep you want your organizer will depend on the size board that you get. We got one by four by six foot, but you will need more than one of these depending on the size of your organizer. So we have another board like this because this is just enough for the frame. Now for the accessories that Jen said we didn't have or need. So um, how are we going to put this together? You're wondering screws. That's how. So we're using you don't say one inch screws and we'll probably use those to attach this next item here too. Oh, you're giving them a sneak peek. Wheels. <laughs> like Jen said, this is how you're going to make your structure move in and out. So we're using caster wheels that completely spin around so that we can easily pull it out from under our bed. But these are the priciest part of the DIY. We have four total and they were almost $5 a piece. If you have a bigger structure, then you may need more wheels. If you don't want to use the wheels and you want a cheaper alternative, you can also use caster cups, which basically these will easily slide on your carpet or hard floor. Mm -hmm. You can use these instead and make it a lot cheaper. Yeah, and you can just screw these in or glue them. And then also, if you use these too, not only are they about $5 a piece, but if you're using a thin board like we are, so we're using quarter inch, we're gonna have to put two by two on top to secure these in place. Next up, we need a handle and you can get whatever handle you would like or even a little knob so that you can pull it out from under the bed. The last thing is optional, but you can wood stain, paint, or seal it. We will be painting ours just some extra white paint that we have at home. You can use whatever you would like for the finish, and that is everything that we need. All right, well, let's get started. We'll see you guys outside. The first thing you want to do is cut your frame or cut your structure if it isn't already cut to size. So the next step will be cutting our frames to size. All right, so we're going to do the front and back cut to size. And then the sideboards, we need to account for the front and back boards because those are cut to size.
All right, guys, Jen has avoided the video. She is now playing with hummingbird plants. All right, so we finished cutting all the frame boards. Now we're gonna go ahead and attach those to the structure. And then that way we'll be able to kind of plan out how we're gonna do our sectionals. All right, so we've secured this front board here. We're gonna go ahead and repeat this process for the other side, and then we'll add the side board. I'm gonna put these in place as if I'm screwing them in so that I know that this is perfectly aligned so when I go to attach the side boards, everything lines up and I don't have anything hanging over our bottom structure. Yep, you know it, it's secure. All right, and you see we've got this little gap here because remember we put these in place so that when we put these here, we weren't hanging over. Look at that, look at Jen peeking. She's acting like she's doing something. She's been gardening since we came out here. Now we're gonna go ahead and secure these on both sides. And then after we secure these, we'll be able to... And then after we secure these, secure the sectionals. We'll be ready to plan out how we're going to do the sectionals. All right, well, we're going to have to move tables, obviously. Cool. You see that, guys? This is why you pre-drill. So I'm going to flip that. So the reason I flipped it is because it's split on the top part here. So when I screw it down and in, it should smush that split back together and keep it nice and secure. Look at that, all the way in, no split. Now we do have that there, but that's okay. It's just because the wood is a little warped. So when we go and actually line it up, it's gonna work out perfect. The reason I wanted to put a screw here and here first is because you see how it's bowing inward. When I push on this side here, out like that, I flatten out the bowing, and then all I have to do is secure the bottom structure to the frame. Can you see me over here pushing out? All right, so if you can see here, there's a lip. So I'm gonna push till I get this wood flat. You see how much space I have there? Look at that, till it's flat. So that's flat. So here we go. So I'm push it flat, hold it in place. All right, now that we have the short board attached to the two long boards here, we're gonna go ahead and secure it along the bottom. Now, it rained last night and this is indoor wood so you can see this warping here i'm going to try to make up for that with some screws but i just recommend keeping your wood out of the dampness this is uh just trial and error here normally i keep my wood dry i don't warp my wood and then try to fix it that's just you know who does that i guess me and look the crack that i accidentally did because i didn't pre-drill has now been smushed All right, so we've got three of the four frame boards secured. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this around and I'm gonna add the last frame board. All right, as you can see, we've got more warping. What do you know? Thank you, Rain. Look at this. What? So, pull this down. We'll make sure that this board here is aligned. Push this out if we need to a little bit to make sure it's flat here and flush. So now we're gonna go ahead and run our screws along the bottom, snug this up, and then our frame will be done. Snug it up. Snug it up, baby. All right, check it out, y'all. Time for the exciting part. The accessories that Jen said we wouldn't need. Accessories? No, we're actually doing the support. Huh? We're doing the support. So now that our structure is completely finished, we're gonna move on to the fun part, which is adding all of our sections. We've never tried this before, so I'm curious to see how this goes. So like we explained in our intro, if you have made it this far into the video. You have. So we said we were gonna do half sectional, half 
free for all, but we'll actually have a board going this way, like so, screwed into place. That will need screws, the rest will not, okay? So this board will go long ways here, and then another board will go across this way, and it'll slot in. So I'm gonna cut out slots, and they'll just slot together. And you can move it around, because it won't be screwed in place. Like I said, I've never done any kind of like sectional puzzle piece boards. This should be interesting. Let's see how it works out. Now we're gonna go ahead and make little cutouts so that we'll be able to slot them together. Not too sure how we're gonna do that yet. So we're gonna wait for Rich to come back to figure out how to do that. We are currently waiting for some sushi. Very hungry. So we're gonna take a quick sushi break and then we'll be back to assemble our sections. Look at that. If you can see, the wood is still bowed a little bit in the middle here. I'm gonna take and screw a screw underneath to keep this nice and flat up against the bottom of this board here. As you can see, my fingers are moving underneath on the other side. Hey, look at that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, so now we're ready to cut out our notch. I just wanted to make sure that my board fit in here nice and snug, so it does. I'm so snug, literally can almost not pull it out. This is where I'm gonna cut my notch right here in the middle, and I need this to be probably a little more than three quarters inch thick because the thickness of this board is three quarters, so I'm not fighting it. Three quarters, let's go with a one inch space. We're gonna make this an inch and three quarters deep. Notch one is ready to be cut. I'm gonna cut along this line here, and then I'm gonna cut along this line here, and then I'm actually gonna go ahead and cut along the middle line, and then I'm gonna take a screwdriver and try to separate or split it off the back end here. We'll see how that works. If not, I'll be drilling a hole here, and then I'm gonna go and get the jigsaw and cut along this line here. We'll see what happens. All right, so we've got three lines. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a flat tip screwdriver, I'm gonna wedge it in right here, and I'm gonna try to separate it, and hopefully it'll split at the weak point. It worked! So all I did was boop, boop, and it popped out. Now, it's not perfectly flat, but what I can do is I can take the flat tip, put it on the line there, tap it with a hammer, and this little extra piece will just pop right off. Success! We've got one, now we need the cross-sectional, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna do it one more time. This should fit, let's see. Oh shit, it does fit. Look at that. Probably could cut three quarter exactly, but I wanted to be safe. I like this y'all. And then look, you can remove this. Now you got two. Now you got two free for all sections. <laughs> so you can do all sorts of fun activities with this. You could make this board go all the way to the end, remove this one here, and then just create multiple notches all the way through. And then you can multiply your sections. You could add a top, put two hinges on the end, and then everything's closed in, it won't collect dust. Plexiglass in the middle, and so your door will actually have plexiglass so you can see right through, you're not guessing and checking, okay? We're gonna go ahead and install the wheels and handle. The base of my wheels here are two inch by two and a quarter. I'm gonna cut a four by four block here and then cut it in half so that I can just go ahead and use these so that my screws are not exposed. So we'll have part A, then we'll have the quarter inch wood part B. Then we'll have the two by two, one by four. Does that even make sense? Part C. And then really part D, we'll just have a screw going through all of that. So you're probably wondering what the hell is this gonna look like? So let me just show you guys. I'm gonna just go ahead and cut that excess off. If you're gonna have a big structure, you may wanna add a wheel in the middle, so four on each corner, one in the middle, so you may need five, it just all depends on how you're building. I have one, one two, three, one, two, three. Oh, okay. Or, if you were Jen, you would have one, two, three, one, two, three, so you would have six. <laughs> Let 
All right, so here's the corner where the wheel's gonna go. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna mark kind of the frame of where this would be. And then I'm gonna put this guy here. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna drill it through. So then now you have your holes marked on the bottom. So now when you put everything in place on the top and you screw in from the bottom, you're not guessing. You know exactly where to go. Now I've got my holes. Put this in place, cover the holes. I don't know where my holes are, but that doesn't matter on the top because I can see them on the bottom where they're going. Don't forget to hold the wood that you put up here because otherwise this won't screw in. Look at that. So we've got our wood, we'll stick that in here. We mark frame, we remove the wood. All right, we put a wheel in place, mark our holes. Now we pre-drill the hole. Now we're gonna put our wood back in place. I forgot to hold the wood again. I'm happy with how strong this is holding with just two screws. So I'm not gonna waste the material. I'm just gonna leave the two screws caddy cornered. I don't think I'm gonna do one of these without remembering to hold the top wood the first go around. So let's try this again. Y'all are gonna laugh, because guess what, I did all four. Had to pull the screw out because I forgot to hold the wood. Don't mind heaven gate, heaven's gates behind me, okay? The sun is going down and... We're still here. Ah! <laughs> so one last step here to complete, I'm freezing. Is it getting cold? We're gonna go ahead and add the handle. We decided against painting it because it's gonna be under oh, the did? bed. Yeah. <laughs> This is new news to me. I'm cold. <laughs> You're not gonna be able to see it under the bed, so we're not too worried about the way it looks. <laughs> and it looks really nice wood color, so we're just gonna leave it as is. Feel free to paint, stain, or seal it. All right, so let me show you guys how to add a handle. This handle is for kids' size only. If you're trying to use this, I don't recommend you trying to grab it with a full hand. I didn't know Good choice, one. babe. She chose from the kids section. I like this one because it's like modern looking and sleek. So you're telling me the but... more modern we get, the smaller everything gets? <laughs> oh, we almost lost the whole thing there, y'all. Watch out. Yeah, so I didn't, exp I didn't explain anything, but basically this part here is actually going to sit flush against the wood. You pre-drill holes. And then these will slide through and screw into here. Pretty simple, okay? So you can see how they're sticking through the wood. So I'll line this up here and then screw it in and it'll pull this tight until we sit flush like so. Handles installed. Oh, it rolls so perfectly. Good. That's amazing. I was worried about the wheels rolling on the carpet, but they turned to work turned out well. If you don't want to cut these out to make sectionals, but you want to subdivide everything, then you can't always put smaller organizers in here. That looks like some space saving organization right there. This thing is amazing. I'm almost tempted to make more than one to put under this bed. I love, love it. it. All right, so that's all for our DIY organizing under the table. Under the, <laughs> so that's all for our DIY under the bed organizer. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, Bye guys. guys. I don't want to film anymore. Ready? <laughs> will be making a DIY under the bed organizer for under your bed. All right, so we're gonna do this one. All right, so we're gonna, all right. What? Jen has avoided the video. She is now playing with hummingbird plants. Like literally, she's cutting, she's cutting leaves off because I told her I saw caterpillar residue. Look how pretty my new plant is, guys. It is Black right. and it is blue, right. but there's a caterpiller somewhere in this. it, so I'm trying to find it. Leaf. Look at this leaf right here. Found him. Nuh-uh. Yep. You're lying. Yep. 
Where? Yeah, because yeah, he's probably full as a mother. Let me see him. I don't believe you. Y'all, Jen says she found the caterpillar. Found oh, it. Oh, she really did. That thing? That, this thing was. That ate all the leaves? Wait, what if this is one of the babies? There's got to be another one. I mean, there's Adult. No way. It would be so much bigger if it ate all that. Jen, you went a little too crazy. You cut the entire plant apart. This all has damage. Not that much, though. Yeah, I did. Oh! Why? What? Oh, I see it. Don't put it over my head. <laughs> Where? Let me see. Right here. Let me see first. Yep. Y'all can see first. Look at it sucking all of the health out of my plant. Oh my god, that is definitely it. It ate that fat motherfucker. It's eating it up right now. How many more are there? I thought I broke that leaf. Might as well peel that one off. Here's the mom. Way to go. I wish I could show you guys this beautiful sunset we got going on to my left. But we don't want to show y'all our neighborhood, so. Sorry.